Some downtown Jefferson City businesses near that crumbling building say they're having to relocate. ABC 17's Barry Mangold continues our coverage of the partially collapsed building tonight. He joins us live from the building at 200 East High Street. Barry City leaders say it's only a matter of time before another collapse. Ashley, Joey, today I learned that there is still no plan to demolish 200 East High Street and that some neighbors are not sticking around to see how it plays out. I would just like to see some action. For over two months, the owner of 200 East High Street has been contemplating how to safely demolish the crumbling building, but no plan is in place. The city's building official, Larry Burkhart, tells me he is eagerly awaiting for any plan to get started. In the meantime, the building will continue to fall apart. Several businesses operate out of the neighboring building, 202 East High. The owner of a catering company tells me they are clearing out because their building could be damaged by any demolition next door. Another business owner a little farther down the street plans to stay put. We're two doors down and I don't, I don't think anything of the demolition or rebuilding will, will affect us. Th this building was the first building on the block, so it was freestanding. Matt Green owns Bar Vino at 204 East High. Green said even though he wants the construction zone on Madison Street to be cleared, he would said he does not plan on changing their opening date and does not expect demolition to affect his business. In fact, he says it can help with advertising. People ask me where, where I'm at, and I say, well, I'm two doors down from the building that's falling down. Currently, all three building owners are, <clears throat> excuse me, discussing how to demolish 200 East High Street safely, but I have not heard any update from those discussions for the past several weeks. Reporting live in Jefferson City, Barry Mangold, ABC 17 News. Barry, thanks. City officials hope to have the demolition finished before winter weather sets in.